Now that we have finished the draft and broken down the rosters, it's time to take a deeper look at how the All-Star Game itself will be different this year. We've enlisted the help of Baron Davis and a couple of New York street ball legends to walk us through the origins of the format you're going to see in Chicago and how it's aimed to make the game more exciting for players and fans. I'm Baron Davis, 13-year NBA vet, two-time All-Star, and someone who's always trying to entertain the crowd. I'm meeting up with New York street ball legend, Bobito Garcia. And NBA legend, Rod Strickland. We linking up to break down how pickup basketball is now being embedded into this year's All-Star game. What up, oh. man? You good? Oh. I'm in the presence of legend. The All-Star game is evolving. Well, let's talk about the draft you know, before we get into what these new rules are to come. Like, what do you guys think about taking it away from, like, the whole East-West thing? I feel like the East-West thing is, like, for the 50s and 60s. A lot of the teams aren't regionally, truthfully, mm -hmm. in the West right. or the West Coast or right. truthfully in the East Coast. Right. So it doesn't really hold a meaning, I feel like, to, to the fan. What I do love about being like, yo, we at the park, yo, he's on my squad, he's on my squad. But now with the, with the pickup, you'd be like, yo, wow, I never thought these two dudes could play on the same squad. Right. But now they can. Here's Curry with a high bounce pass. You yes. already got like the two leading bow getters, and then they get to basically like, build their kingdom. You may be the last person drafted, but that creates that chip on your shoulder. That's the cool part of it, yeah. you know, because the fans get to see and actually get to see players' vulnerability, yeah. right? Yeah. So because right. they've shown it. Mm -hmm. To everyone. And now we've embedded more pickup rules inside the All-Star game in Chicago. I can explain it. <laughs> Easy. Simple. This year, the NBA All-Star game is going to make every quarter count. In addition to a running score, each quarter will be treated as a mini game and will be scored separately. Team scores will reset 0-0 after each quarter. And the winner of each of the first three quarters will earn money for the Chicago charity of their team captain's choosing. What do you think about those first three quarters? I love it. I love it. I think that creates that competition we're talking about. Yeah. This is something in a small period of time, mm -hmm. and there's a winner. Yeah. And then you tie that in with the foundation. I think that's great. I think it, you know, it gives an incentive for players to play. I think the fans deserve to see these guys playing you know, with, with an intense competition. Everything is going to be worse. So in this pickup format, is that going to change how you draft somebody? I think it may change style, the kind of play, yeah. because it's a pickup. Uh, but also, I think you're going to pick who you think is competitive, too. All right, there's more. There's more. Fourth quarter. <laughs> All right, here's the thing. This is fire. The fourth quarter, we're switching it up. To start, the clock is off. Instead of beginning at zero, both teams will start with their total score from the first three quarters. A target score will be determined by taking the leading team score and adding 24 points in honor of our dear brother, Kobe Bryant. The team to reach the target score first will win the All-Star game and $200,000 for their charity. I love that. I think out of everything that has been devised so far, mm -hmm. that singularly having no clock, that's you at the park. And you got to end on a game winner. Right. So imagine, you know, being down six and they get a ball to somebody and he don't get the game winner. Yeah. You going to go to him yeah. again yeah. or you going to go to somebody else? That's another uh, enhancer to defense. Because mm -hmm. if you're up by 10, yeah. like, yo, like, don't let them back in the game. Right. Pride. Pride yeah. comes yep. in. Yeah. And now it's a true pickup yeah. game. If I'm down yeah. five, down six, you still got a chance. Let's stop them. Anybody has a chance to be that That's MVP. True. It goes back to the Glenn Rice days. Rice. Yo, if he catch fire, we gonna leave him in. three-pointer again for Glenn Rice. So you like the new rules? I love it. There's always something going, something intriguing, yeah. uh, something competitive. Yeah. Uh, and that's what the game's been lacking. So I, I think I think the, the changes are great. To me, it feels like that's an all-star game. We're gonna sure. be able to see our all-stars the way we want to see our all-stars.
So essentially, uh, Giannis and LeBron, you've, you've got a game now that could have within it four game winners uh, because e each of those right. quarters being treated differently. So how are, are you warming up to the idea and, and how do you like it? Giannis, go first. You know, I, I, I kind of like it. Uh, it's almost like playing four games uh, on one night and, um, you know, you have the opportunity to win each one. And but I uh, kind of like it because at the end of the um, the fourth quarter we are in uh, Kobe with the 24 points, who's going to get four the first to uh, 24, and um, at the end of the day, you know you can play basketball, you can show showcase your uh, talent and your skills because there's no there's no shot clock, there's no time, and uh, you can just go forever. You can play forever. LeBron. No, just to piggyback what Giannis said. I, I mean, I, I love the idea. You know, it's. It's almost like practice when you know your coach, you know, put 12 minutes on the clock and say, "Let's scrimmage," you know, and uh, whoever wins that game, and then you're like, "Okay, I want to play another one because they beat us that first time." So, you know, every quarter it can be a winner, um, and then the best part about it, you know, the charity, you know, the charity uh, gets to, uh, you know, get money after every quarter, uh, continue to give back to, uh, you know, these kids that that mean so much, and then. Uh, like I said, to piggyback again off of Giannis said that last quarter, just honoring Kobe and his legacy and everything that he's done for our league and our game, um, I think it's going to be really cool. Yeah, I like it as well, guys, because I think no one in, in remembers the scores of the All-Star games. Uh, sometimes I don't even remember winning, but the, the consensus was, oh, are they playing hard enough? So now when you're down right. in the first quarter, you're not worried anymore. You're like, I'm going to win the next quarter. So everyone's going to continue to play at a higher pace. And then clock off, yeah. that's park, like the first to 12. That's it. First to uh, 156, oh, let's go get it. It's the first to 156. Now you do play much more defense. Or if you get to the end of the first quarter, toward the end of the first quarter, it's a one-point game, you're going to see a coach say, hey, let's time out. Let's draw something up here and win the quarter. Exactly. Yeah. Well, right, I'm just right. Exactly. I, exactly. I think that sometimes that people really overact to the All-Star game. The All-Star game should just be fun. It's a celebration of the NBA. You know, that's like the Pro Bowl. These guys can't go out there and tackle each other. They, they play for their own teams. So I, I just think, listen, just go out, have fun. It's an amazing weekend. It's like the halfway point before the fun starts of the playoffs. Just have a great weekend.